Hi, I totally remembered the story I was going to tell you and forgot earlier. And I'm all gross and sweaty because I put on my mattress topper, um, a memory foam mattress topper, and a mattress protector. And they're both like, I feel like I'm sleeping on a cloud, but I already had one of each, so I'm on like a double cloud. Anyway, so last weekend, um, I took Matt out to this fancy restaurant, The Melting Pot. I'm sure wherever you guys are, you have one, it's a chain. But yeah, pretty fancy. And we get there and there's this homeless dude like camping out on the mat in front of the door. And he doesn't hear a word anyone is saying. I'm like, hey, excuse me, buddy. Excuse me. And I bend down a little bit in my wheelchair and I tap him on the shoulder and he doesn't look at me. He doesn't hear me. He's like tracing something on the welcome mat with a pen or something. He's really intent on it, right? Well, they've, they've gone to get the manager already and I start looking through my purse for money or something and I don't have any because no one carries cash, but I have an eight ounce bottle of water that hasn't been opened. And the manager comes out and Matt, he's very cute. Um, he puts me like away behind the guy because he's worried that it might like get physical. And so he's trying to protect me. Okay, that's adorable, but dude's really skinny. Love you, Matt. But like, come on, like I, I probably have like a hundred pounds on him and um, I'm a black belt actually. So, well, almost. I, I broke my back right before my black belt, you know. I, I fight, I fought like a black. And um, so even in a wheelchair, like I, I can hold my own. And Matt's had a stroke and a heart attack, so he kind of doesn't have a lot of upper body strength. And I, I, I got a, I got like a hundred pounds on him probably. I mean, I don't know. We don't talk about numbers, but I've never dated a skinny boy before, so this is new and fun. But I love him. Okay, so it was really cute that he put me out of the way to like protect me. <laughs> But he kind of put me on an incline. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. And then that's when the homeless guy kind of looks up. And then I'm like, Matt, you put me on an incline. And I'm, he's like, no, I didn't. And whatever. So he, he, but I propelled myself forward with my feet. And um, then the guy looks up and I'm, I offer him the water. And I'm like, hey, buddy, I don't have any money, but do you want this water? And he looks at me like I've totally offended him. Sorry, dude. Like, that's, that's really all I can give you and I'm not gonna be a dick to you because you're a human being and it's like negative 18 degrees out there you know whatever and I don't know how high he was or if he had like hypothermia or something I don't know what state his mind was in but we go into the restaurant and they're like hey thanks for being cool about it and I'm like hey it's not your fault and he's a human being and I'm not gonna be a dick to him I was like how long was he out there and they were like maybe 30 seconds before you got here and he'd come in and ask for water, so we gave him some, and then he left, and then he just camped out. And I was like, that's weird, because I offered him water, and he looked at me like I totally offended him. And they were like, huh, that is kind of weird. And plus, when it's really, when it's that cold out, like, you dehydrate easily. So, yeah, so that was, that was interesting. Our little trip to the melting pot. But we got in and it was fine and I forgot to say in the reservation that I needed a wheelchair but I said that in the confirmation email I sent back and I got the romantic table and it had like rose petals and candlelight yeah I'm a feminist so I'll pick up the tab once in a while and I'll I think I, I should be the one to fight if it comes to it between the two of us but it was cute of him to try.